Hey Libra, welcome back. This is going to be a timeless love reading. Whenever you feel drawn to the title, to the picture, that's when it's meant for you. You know to always take what resonates and then at any time you would like me to tune in to adjust your energy, click on the link below. Um, it's in the description box of every reading and it'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. Okay, and then I am still currently doing those three free readings for the month of February. So for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. I do monthly giveaways. Sometimes they're monetary giveaways during the holidays. But this is going to be three free love readings during the for the month of February. You just need to be a subscriber. New and returning subscribers leave a heart emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine during the month of um. February. I will be reaching out to three people who I randomly choose at the end of the month through YouTube. So make sure your notifications are on. Um, and then I'll direct you over to my Etsy shop to contact shop owner. Um, and we'll do everything over there where it's you know protected to get your information and send you the reading. It's up to you. Bottom of the deck is communicating clearly. Two dolphins. The communication is going to be very peaceful, harmony, but there is communication coming your way. All right. Libra, mountain, 22. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. It's like, you know, don't always be ready to put your guard down for each and every person. Don't always tell what's happening in your life to each and every person. Because there you are. There's that air energy, that the eagle energy. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. All right, spirit for my Libra. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others express your love go ahead and make that romantic gesture you might be thinking about someone specifically you may be, you know you may need a night out with your friends or the people that you feel so close to they always put things in perspective for you they always tell you what you need to hear not what you want to hear that's why they're your best friends. That's why they're so close to you. They're your soul tribe. Before I, you know, got into healthcare, I used to um, work for, you know, just like a place that sold clothes with that had a uh, dressing room. And I was a supervisor there. And I would be very honest when these people tried clothes on. And the manager hated it. Like, just tell them they look good. I'm like, I'm not going to let them, you know, it, especially if their, like, stomach is hanging over their pants or, you know, like, th the thing is, like, hanging on the ground because they're sh so skinny. I'm not going to tell them it looks good. Why would I do that? And they hated that I was so honest with, you know, but communicating clearly. It's what makes everything better, it, you know. It doesn't leave that, that stuff in between for, to wonder and... Anyway, your energy, Libra. Two of Cups. A loving exchange. So you're ready. I definitely feel like there's somebody you're already thinking about. Your person's energy. Five of Wands. This is Leo energy. But this, you know, it also could be Sagittarius or Aries. Complications. Past center. Yeah, you're at an, you have had an ending with this person. So it's like you've tried to like make it to the top of the mountain with this person, but there were just person maybe personality clashes. Um, but you've had bumps in the road. But in the present, energy is communicating clearly. It is the eight of wands. 
I feel like in this ending there has been a transformation. There has been that light bulb that has gone off, Libra, and there is going to be communication. Yeah, see the eight of the eight of coins, the devil, and the knight of swords. I feel with this devil card here, it's like the two of you think an unhealthy amount of time about one another. Like not being able to get this person off your mind. They can't get you off their mind. I feel like, but there's actually going to be movement here. Please clarify the two of cups. Yeah, you're remaining silent. Can you please clarify the five of wands spirit? Page of coins. So we have fire and air here. The page of coins. You could know him through doing business with him. Or maybe going to school with him. You may work with him. Or you may go into each other's place of business. Chance that they are younger than you. And they're still working on their stability. It's like they just began start like doing what they've wanted to do. They're very focused on it. They're very dedicated toward it, towards it. And they're working on a solid foundation. Please clarify the death card in the past. Yeah, it was an ending to this love. Libra, you may have walked away. They might not have been giving you exactly what you were looking for. Please clarify the Eight of Wands. But they only have eyes for you, Libra. Empress energy. I have fire and air here strongly. Now they're coming in very confident. I feel like you're very drawn to them. They're very sexy. They're very successful. But I feel like definitely a heart to heart has to happen. With the Seven of Swords here, I feel like when you were with them, things just didn't seem right. You know, you were second guessing things. You were just maybe trying to get more information or try to understand why things went down the way they did. Let's see. You might have been a little bit sketchy with the Queen of Swords there. You might have been a little bit, you know, not ready for this connection. What is going to be the overall outcome, Spirit? What is going to be the overall outcome between Libra and this person? Both of you standing your ground. For some of you, Libra, as you've moved on, I do feel this communication is going to happen anyway, but I feel like some of you have moved on. But for others of you, I feel like you're going to want to fight for this connection. And the reason I say I feel like you moved on is the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands. It's like, how do you really feel about this connection, Libra? For those of you that have moved on to someone else, I'm not picking up that energy per se. I just feel like you have moved on, even though there are thought of yours here and there, you know, you still get up, go about your day and make the best of it. You're not going to let it hold you back. You know, you feel a lot more healed than you did at some point. But I feel like there's definitely... Some laborers are going to be open to it. Others, I'm, I'm not sure. It's like you've put it to bed. 
almost like the energy, like, why would I think about it now? But now again, you know, now I see with two of cups here, I feel like you're going to go with your intuition on this. Yeah, see, soulmate connection. It, felt, it feels like you've already known this person a lifetime. Reconciliation, Libra. Let me see what else. All right. And look, like I said, you have started taking those steps to becoming more grounded. Don't let that, don't let the communication coming in shake that. Because you've come so far. So don't let that shake you. Make sure you stay grounded when that com communication comes in. It doesn't have to be anything that you need to respond like that moment. There could be children involved, but this is definitely looking at it from a different perspective and a brand new beginning. And look at that. For some of you, it's definitely a Leo. Definitely fire energy here and obstacles being removed. I feel like you both have thought about each other often. There's definitely love here. All right, spirit. From Libra's person, to Libra. From Libra's person to Libra. It has always been you. Let's be honest with one another. That's where I feel like that heart to heart has to happen. All right, let's see what else flipped over. This one. And let me make sure there's no others. Yeah, no, okay. From Libra's person to Libra. Thank you, Spirit. All right, I'll take them. Oh, this one popped out too. I still think and read our texts. I still read and... Yeah, start over. I still read our texts and think about you a lot. Life has been hard and we paid the price. Now this could be you meeting someone and you not being in the best energy at the time that you met them, Libra. This also could be them meeting you at a time where they didn't feel that secure. They didn't feel that stable. With the page of coins, they may not have been able to offer you long term. And that's what took, took place. I don't know what to say and do after so many mistakes. And your light is guiding me home. Bottom of the deck, I wish we could go back and start over. All right, let's do a card of timings. Archangel Spirit Guides. Card of timing for my Libras and their person. All right. In a few days. So in a few days from the time that you hear this reading. And then at the bottom of the deck, we got this week. Pay attention to feathers. I feel it with all this purple in this card, it's going to be a very healing communication for you both. All right, let's get the scrapples. Let's get the tiles out. Now, guys, if this resonates and you don't see any letters that do, that's okay. This is just an additional way to clarify, to make it personal. L, W, H, Y, E, X, N, for Nancy, Nadia, P, A, V for Victor, Victoria, Vanessa, R, O, I, oh, that's an L. I thought that was an I. Sorry, guys. G, F, 
the rest are repeats. All right. So, Libra, take what resonates, like I said. And at any time you would like your own personal reading for me to clear, like for me to tune into just your energy, always click on the link in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. And then for those of you that want to be a part of the three free love readings, leave a heart emoji. And do check back at the end of the month to see if I responded to one of your posts. All right, love and light, Libra.